21, 22 and 22, 23. In this year, we have broadly selected as a IIC consortium member of the Uttar Pradesh. The IIC Belgoti University also has been selected as a mentor institute with the funding support from the AICT and Ministry of Education. We have also received rank 11 to 50 band in the NIRF Innovation Ranking 2023. Previously, we received excellent band in ARIA Ranking System. University is a top five patent filer among Pan India. We have filed several patents. The student and faculty member are filing more than 500 patents each year. We have a dedicated IPR cell who are providing a free filing support to the student and faculty member. You can reach out to the Sumedha Mukherjee, who is the IPR in charge at the university level. We have undertaken several government innovation initiative, like we are adopting the NISP policy. We have participated in Kapila scheme. We have also hosted the Twikathon as well as participated in drug discovery hackathon. We have participated and hosted the Smart India hackathon. Our four team also won the Smart India Hackathon previous year in the software edition. We have a dedicated incubation cell for the agri-health product as well as for the general product. That incubation cell is also listed on Start in India portal as well as Start in UP portal. We are also having DSIR zero recognition. And in this year, we are also providing the mentorship support to five university and colleges in the Uttar Pradesh as well as in the Pan India. Now I am requesting Professor Sagun Agrawal, sir, the Dean School of Allied Health Science, to address the gathering. Over to you, sir. Good morning. Thank you, Gaurav, sir. Welcome all the delegates on the behalf of Galgodias University School of Allied Health Sciences. I welcome our resource person for today, Dr. Vikas Bali, sir, all the respected faculty and the dear students. Today, we are conducting a workshop on this IPR. And as Dr. Gaurav has told you, ki our university is emphasizing more on to the patents and all the things so that our students get the is a platform from where they can think on the higher level. I would like to thank Dr. Vikas Bali for his kind acceptance for this workshop. I would like to introduce our guest of today, Dr. Vikas Bali. Dr. Vikas has earned his doctorate degree in pharmaceuticals from the prestigious Jamia Hamdard University, New Delhi. He processes more than 12 years of experience in the field of intellectual property rights after having worked with pharmaceuticals companies like Jubilant, Sun Pharmaceuticals Industries. He is currently the head of IPR in department of Kusum Healthcare Private Limited. He is one of the inventors of four patents granted for two innovative formulations in the US Canada, India, and Africa. I congratulate Dr. Bali for this. He is also registered as a patent agent 
with the Indian Patent Office. Definitely your all this prestigious association with this IPR, it would help our students and faculty. He has been awarded a certificate of appreciation at Sun Pharmaceuticals Limited. He has also awarded two outstanding team awards and two sport on awards at the recognition of his outstanding team work during his association with Jubilant Generics Limited. He has also written a book chapter titled Nano Medicines for Nasal Drug Delivery. In the book, Patenting Nano Medicines, Legal Aspect, Intellectual Property and Grant Opportunities. That was printed by the a renowned publisher that is the Springer World Act. In his spare time, he liked to meditate, read, and spend time with his two daughters. I'm thankful to Dr. Vikas Bali for sparing his valuable time for sharing his expertise for the IPR. Thank you, sir. Thank you for accepting our invitation in our university. I welcome you and won't take a lot of time. And definitely would we would have a long term association with you. And we would try to have a lot of patent from our School of Allied Health Sciences along with you. Thank you, Dr. Bali again. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Shagun, for the introduction and the warm welcome. Thank you for providing me a platform for sharing my knowledge. And many thank thanks you, to Dr. Gaurav also. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, like, uh, yeah uh, it says that your role has been changed. I won't be able to share my content. Yeah, just give me a minute, sir. Sir, now you can, sir. Now you okay. can, sir. Now you can, try, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's available now. Yes. Can you, can you see my slides? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Uh, first of all, the purpose of this presentation is to share my knowledge and to help anybody who like uh, create awareness regarding IPR. Uh, I would request everybody to make this session interactive. Like, uh, let's try to be a habit of the dialogue not a monologue where I am presenting and everybody is listening. If you feel like having any questions, feel free to ask me in between. And if I know the answers, I will definitely answer it. If I don't know, I'll ask Dr. Gaurav to take note and I'll try to answer it later on. So uh, does anybody know what is IPR and why is IPR important? Because I can see that the university is working very aggressively in the field of patents. If anybody knows, you can like raise your hand or you can unmute yourself. Yes, dear participants, <laughs> please, please unmute yourself and make this session interactive. You can unmute yourself. Intellectual property rights. Yeah. Yeah, please. It is a time type of right gear given to the creator or the owner. Yeah. You're very close. Like IPR, it stands for intellectual property right. Yes, sir. So first of all, we will understand what is intellectual property. The word, it comes from two like words, intellectual and property. 
so just like any other tangible asset like your home property or something like this it is a property which is created by the application of intellect so it refers to the creations of mind it includes inventions literary and artistic works inventions like smartwatch literary and artistic work like paintings drawings it also includes symbols name and images used in commerce i am quite sure you almost have seen this m symbol many a times broadly speaking there are five types of ipr which includes patents designs trademark copyright and geographical indication there are few other types sir sir the sir, yeah, please the uh, presentation is not Balisari. visible sir uh, you have to share your uh, screen again sir okay sorry maybe because of network issue yes sir yes till here it was uh, visible yes sir it is visible sir yes sir yes sir so intellectual property again i will repeat it combines two words intellectual and property so this term refers to something which has been created by the application of intellect or mind it includes inventions like smartwatch literary and artistic work like drawings symbols names and images used in commerce i am quite sure you all must have seen this m symbol somewhere now type the yep yeah very right broadly speaking there are five types of ipr patents designs trademark copyright and geographical indication there are few more types but these ones are most commonly used now since i am mainly from patent background i will cover more of patents but i will also touch briefly other ipr types so what is a patent word patent it has come from the latin word patere which means to lay open so what is being laid open here the invention is being laid open in the form of a document and in exchange the government of the country is giving a right to the inventor whereby it can prevent third parties from using the invention without his consent so it is a sort of exchange between the inventor and the government of a country the inventor is showing the the benefit of public and the government in return is giving him a monopoly to stop others from using the invention without his consent some interesting facts about patents we all feel that the concept of patent is quite recent because with the uh, arrival of making in the campaign and so many gadgets coming up every year the concept of patent is very getting important but this concept uh, dates back to 1474 and greeks were the first to use it then patents are territorial nature which means that there is nothing like universal or global patent if you want to have a patent in india for your invention you have to file an application in india similarly if you want to get a patent in japan you have to file a patent in japan you have to file individually in each country where you want to get protection then this patent has a limited life term it is generally 20 years from the date of filing so after 20 years the invention comes in public domain and anybody can use it without the consent of inventor or assignee just like any other property this type of property can be mortgaged licensed 
or transferred as well as assigned to third parties by payment of by receiving reasonable royalties. Now I have been saying that uh, we get a patent for invention. So I would like to ask: Does anybody know what is the difference between a discovery and an invention? Sir, just a second, because I have muted uh, all the participants due to the disturbance. I am giving the right. So does anybody know what is the difference between discovery and invention? Hello? Yeah, please. Yes, yes. Discovery is something about which exists before an invention which does not exist, but we invent that. Yeah, very right. So discovery is something where you find out which is existing before, but in case of invention, you invent something, you develop something new. For example, you, uh, America was discovered by Columbus. It was not invented. So when we say invention, Invention is something which is new or useful. It can be a process or method. It can also be a machine or apparatus. It can also be an article of manufacture. And further, it may also include improvements of any of the above. Now, for a patent to be granted on invention, it must fulfill some criteria. There are three basic criteria. These are, first of all, it should be novel. That means it should be new. And then it should be non-obvious, meaning it should not be obvious to a person skilled in the art. For example, we all have been driving or riding bicycles. Now somebody attaches a torch or electric light to the bicycle and claims that I have developed something new. But that does not make it an invention because use of torches or flashlight is quite known in the literature to see things in the dark and combining these two features doesn't make an invention. It is quite obvious solution to the problem. And lastly, it should be capable of industrial application, meaning a person should be scale up its industry if the person wishes to commercialize the invention. Then what cannot be patented? It is generally believed that anything which is under the sun can be patented, but that is not the case. Each country in the world has its own criteria whereby certain things are allowed for patent and certain things are not patentable. For example, any artistic creation, mathematical methods, business schemes, these are not patentable. For these, we have copyright. And then anything which is against universal law cannot be patented. For example, if somebody claims I have developed a machine which keeps on working without consuming energy, so that cannot be patented because it is against law of nature. And then something which is against public order or morality can also not be patented. For example, if somebody claims that I have developed a method of gambling or stealing. So a patent cannot be granted for this because it's against morality. A patent document provides a certain valuable information. First of all, it tells us about the technology underlying the invention. Then after that, there's a problem solution approach. What was the problem existing in the prior art and what solution it is proposing? Then the inventors, who all are the inventors who have worked on the invention. The inventors can be from a single country or can, they can be from different countries. Then what is the place of filing the application? Whether it was filed in India, USA, Japan, or somewhere else. And also the name and addresses of the inventors. It shows contents of a patent. Since a patent document has many pages, I have only taken the front page of the patent document just to give a brief idea. First of all, it tells us about 
bibliographical data which includes application number and date in this case item number 21 and 22 the application number is 174363 and the date of filing is december 28 1993 now the patent number and date item number 11 and 45 patent number is 5401 at the top 504 and the date of patent is march 28 1995 then title of the invention title of the invention in this case is use of turmeric in wound healing item number 54 there are names of inventor it is item number 75 in this case the inventors are suman k das and hari har p kohli many a times the invention is assigned by inventor to third parties because he doesn't have the funds to commercialize it so he assigns the right to third parties in this case this invention was assigned to university of mississippi then there is abstract of the invention item number 57 many a times drawings are also part of the patent document because these drawings help to better understand the invention and illustrate it it becomes important in case of medical devices because mere description doesn't help and a drawing has to better visualize the invention then there is complete description of the invention which includes the prior art what was the problem in the prior art what is the solution being proposed then there are examples work out the invention this best mode and lastly there are claims a claim claims are said to be most important part of the invention because they define the boundary of the invention and it is said that whatever is granted in the form of claim is covered by the invention and whatever is not granted is disclaimed and is free to be used by public in this case there were six claims there was no drawing on this example of a patent granted in india it was granted to kusum healthcare where i was i'm working and it was for process for preparation of composition of citicoline you can see that the invention was filed on 4th january 2012 and the examination started in 2018 so there is an almost 6 years gap we will study about this in the coming slides Okay, uh, a very interesting case in the field of patents is turmeric case. Is anybody aware of, of this case? I think nobody is ready to answer. Uh, we all have been using turmeric for wound healing. Whenever we had fall in our childhood or some injury. our mother used to give us turmeric milk because it is said that it has wound healing properties but in this case what happened us pto that is united states patent and trademark office granted patent number 504 to suman k das and harir p kohli of the university of mississippi in 1995 the patent covered use of turmeric in wound healing when dr mashelkar who was the then director general of csir he came to know of this he filed for reexamination he contended that the patent lacked novelty and it could be easily referred to as prior art because use of turmeric for wound healing is known since ages in india to support his claim he provided document in the form of ancient sanskrit urdu and hindi references and a paper published by indian medical association in the year 1953 was also submitted based upon the documents submitted by dr mashelkar usp to cancel the claims in 1998 so this slide shows that many a times things which are traditionally known in india or other countries may be patented if they are not challenged appropriately the next is basmati rice case is there anybody who is aware of this case
okay we all know that basmati rice it is famous for its long size grain and fragrance and it is generally cultivated in the hills of foothills of himalayas in pakistan and india for centuries now why this rice is important because it has low glycemic index of 45 to 58 whereas the glycemic index of regular white or brown rice is 89 because of its low glycemic index this basmati rice can be consumed and is suitable for diabetics what happened in this case in 1997 us pto granted a patent number 484 titled basmati rice lines and grains to a company named rice tech an american company this patent had 20 claims and out of this claims 15 to 17 they covered unique traits of basmati rice rice like its size fragrance method of cultivation etc this is a copy of the patent document it was granted now once rice tech got a patent an exclusive right to control production and import of basmati rice it started forcing farmers to pay royalties to plant for the crop and to have a next crop so it was not giving authorization now when indian government came to know about this fact it challenged the patent for this they submitted 50000 pages documents to uspto to prove that use and cultivation of basmati rice is a traditional knowledge in india it cannot be patented the petition was accepted after 3 years and based upon the documents submitted uspto uspto reexamined the patent and cancelled the claims 15 claims were cancelled these were 1 to 7 10 and 14 to 20 so here you can see the claims 15 to 17 which were covering important properties of basmati rice were also cancelled further the assignee had to remove the term basmati from the title of the patent This is a copy of the re-examination certificate which was issued. The items which are shown in square brackets were removed, and the items which were which are shown in italics were added. You can see that terms corresponding to basmati have been removed. Now after studying. Uh, can anybody tell me what are the merits of patent procedure like any thought that comes to your mind you can share first of all a patent disclosure helps in disclosing the doc document in public domain because a patent application is published after 18 months of filing and it is there in the public domain for public to refer to it and to make and to make incremental innovations to it
I hope till uh, this before this everybody was like able to understand the Basmati rice case. So there are certain merits of patent procedure. First of all, it permits public disclosure. Patent application is published after 18 months, and then it is there in the public domain for the people to refer to it and to make innovation incremental innovations to it. For the patentee, it grants exclusive rights whereby he can stop third parties from using the invention without his consent. It promotes innovation because uh, literature is available in the public domain where people can refer to it and then make innovations to it. For the patentee, it limits competition because he can stop third parties from using the invention without his consent. It also improves market presence because a patent document certainly acts as a source of credibility for the innovator and the patentee, and it also stimulates business growth. Of course, there are certain challenges with the patent procedure. First challenge is the cost involved. There is a substantial amount of cost involved in getting a patent granted, starting from filing the application, you have to pay the fee, then for getting it examined, you have to pay the fee. And even when the patent is granted, you have to pay the fee for the grant. And later on, when you have to maintain its life during those 20 years, you have to keep on paying the annuity fees year after year. Factor is time. There is a substantial amount of time involved in getting a patent granted. In developed countries like India, sorry, uh, USA, it may take up to three years, but in developing countries like India, it may take six to seven years. So you must have seen that that patent application granted to Kusum had taken six years for examination to begin. There's a significant gap because of backlog of applications. And lo less amount of manpower is there. Then there is always a chance of loss of information. In case the patent is not granted, the information is anyhow there in the public domain. So it is it can be used by the public. And then there are always the chances of infringement. Infringement is something when somebody is using your invention without your consent. It may be un, like uh, uh, involuntary inf infringement whereby the person is not aware and is using. And it may be willful infringement where the person is also aware he is using the invention. So in these cases, you have to enforce your patent rights by suing them in the court of law. Now, next IPA type is industrial design. I'm quite sure you all must have seen this Coke bottle. There's something peculiar about this design of the bottle, which we'll study in the next slides. Industrial design, as the name indicates, it constitutes ornamental or aesthetic aspect of the article. Now it provides this type of IP provides protection for visual features of the product, which includes three dimensional features like shape or two dimensional features like patterns, lines, colors. So this type of IP prevents third parties from making, selling or importing articles, which bear a design, which is copy of the granted design or a actual similar to a design. In countries like India, we refer to them as simple designs, but in countries like US, they are referred to as design patents. They also have term of seven to 10 years. An example of industrial design is contour bottle of the Coke, contour shape of the Coke bottle. This design dates back to 1915. This came into existence because the company wanted to have a bottle which is easily identifiable, but in the dark. So because of its shape and the grooves, it is easily identifiable. Next example is Mini Cooper. We all know that Mini Cooper is a design classic. This design came into existence because of shortage of fuel supply caused by Suez crisis. Because of Suez crisis, there was shortage of fuel supply. 
for the designer alec isijonis he wanted to create a car which is smaller than the normal cars so that it consumes less fuel and it can still compete with the popular cars like volkswagen beetle there are certain requirements for design protection first of all it should be novel or new then it should be original it should be significantly different from known designs there should not be any prior disclosure by its publication in tangible form also it should not be prior use before filing date and then it should not conflict with public order or morality for example if somebody develops uh, something which is having uh, like it's very common in us you must have seen uh, inner wear having flag symbol of flag us flag but such type of designs are not allowed in india because it is against public order and morality a very interesting case in the field of design is crocs versus bata so what happened in this case the company crocs had a design for its full footwear indian companies like bata liberty shoes action aqualite relaxo all these companies were infringing the design so when crocs came to know of this it sued them in the court of law but indian company stated that the design of crocs footwear was already present on the website of the company before the application was filed so the court held that because of previous publication the validity of design is questionable and also the design were deemed to be lacking novelty or originality because they were simply modification of pre existing design they were nothing new or novel the next ipr type is trademark i am quite sure you all must have seen this walt disney mark whenever like you watch cartoons as the name indicate it combines two words trade and a mark it is a mark for something carrying out in the trade services or goods it is generally depicted by the symbol encircled r or tm just like other ip property this is unique in nature it is capable of distinguishing goods or services of one company from another you know it may include the like combination of letters words numbers sounds etc it may consist of symbols like this tick mark then 3d features like shape and packaging of words and it may also include non visible features such as sounds or fragrances in this case these are known as sound mark or and olfactory mark just like other ip properties this can be assigned to third parties and the term of trademark is generally from 10 to 15 years but after this 15 years the trademark can be renewed indefinitely by paying additional fees so if you keep on using the trademark it is alive now a very famous case in the field of trademark is of asomeprazole case the drug asomeprazole is sold by the name nexium in us now the innovator company astrazeneca had a trademark which covered purple color of the capsule and presence of three golden bands on one side of the capsule dr reddys was marketing similar capsules so astrazeneca sued dr reddys in the delaware court to stop the sales based upon the judgment dr reddys had to change the color of its capsule from purple to blue to resume sales so this clearly indicates how crucial can be a trademark if it is properly used as a ip asset next interesting case is of sildenafil citrate it is viagra in this case the innovator company pfizer it had a trademark for blue color and diamond shape of the capsules the tablets the trademark was in china and there were two companies beijing health company 
and Lian Wen Company, who were copying the trademark and marketing the product. So, Pfizer sued them in the court of law. And in case of Beijing Health New Company, the court ordered to stop the sales. But in case of Lian Huan Company, the court went further and asked the company to pay Pfizer 3 lakh yuan in damages. So, a company may also ask for damages if its business is affected by the infringement of trademark. Then another famous case is of Gucci versus India Sheikh. In this case, Gucci, of course, is known for its trademark whereby red and green bands are present on the apparel. Now, in this case, uh, a company named Shipra Overseas was selling the products having this red and green stripes and the Gucci logo. And further, the goods were of substandard quality. So when Gucci, um, Gucci company need, came to know of this infringement, it filed a suit in the Delhi High Court and the judge granted a permanent injunction and further it awarded damages up to a cost of INA to a lakh and further the Shipra overseas was asked to pay the cost of litigation. The next IPR right is copyright. Again, as the name indicates, it is a right granted which prevents others from copying. So it is also known as author's right. It provides exclusive right to the IP owner to, to produce, reproduce, publish, or perform an original literary, artistic, dramatic, or musical work. Now, the long list of things are covered under copyright. Some of these are literary work like novels, poems, plays, etc., musical compositions, films, choreography, artistic work like painting, drawing, photographs, computer programs, databases, advertisements, maps, etc. Even the presentation I am giving it right now is also subject to copyright. Now let's have a brief quiz. Like these symbols are very common. So I'll ask if anybody knows, uh, somebody has already told that this M stands for McDonald's. Can anybody tell me what this bird stands for? What is the trademark, the copyright? Okay, okay. Yeah. who want to answer the question, just raise your hand, I will make you presenter. No. So Nobody. Twitter. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, right. uh, do you know that the name, the symbol has been changed recently? Yes, sir. Now it is Tom Des X. The Elon Musk has changed. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. The next, of course, Ford is quite obvious. Next is Apple. Yes. Everybody knows Apple company. The next is the stick mark. Nike. Yeah. Uh, next is VW, this symbol. Volkswagen. Yeah. Of course, Chanel is obvious. The lady with the crown. Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks coffee. BBC is quite obvious. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Does anybody know the full form of BBC? Who want to answer? Please raise your hand. I will allow your mic. Sir, it's a new channel termed as British Broadcasting Cooperation. Yeah, yeah, very right. Then, of course, uh, other are quite obvious. Uh, one more thing, can anybody see a forward, like the two forward moving arrows in this picture? Can you see this, those arrows? The Mercedes yeah. Pardon? Uh, first of first arrow is from in Amazon. It is from A to Z. 
So like uh, they want to see that they cover everything from A to Z. Then if you yes, A to Z, yeah, yeah. The next one, next arrow. Can you see? If you look carefully, the Nike. No, no, that is a tick mark symbol. There is no arrow here. Ankit, Sunil, Amrita, you can also. Yeah, like anybody. See, it's a, I'm trying to make it interactive. Only I am speaking doesn't serve the purpose. Yes, sir. Dr. Vikas, I have a question. Uh, yeah, suppose suppose uh, I worked because I worked on a protein, one mm. protein which is present in milk, but uh, people already worked on that uh, protein that is mm. uh, that is also showing some antimicrobial, anti-immunomodulatory. There are many functions of that protein. But what, mm. what I did, I took that protein and I, I also incorporated some peptides in that particular protein. Mm -hmm. So, so can I go for protein because you know protein and peptide already studied against other diseases also, other infections no. also. But I tried like, it another yeah. disease. So like uh, when you added uh, additional things to the, that protein, peptides. So mm -hmm. uh, are you getting any additional properties? Like is the uh, effect more than the known effect? Like yes, that's yes. Like, the effect is the effect is unknown. Means earlier. The people they are saying that okay, it's immunomodulatory because immunity if something is you know effective on the immune system, mm -hmm. so it is already reported. But what I did, I make it as a therapeutic means it's reducing the uh, suppose uh, any like uh, any re drug resistance bacteria is there, so it 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 is reducing the you know the the you know the problem. <laughs> Uh, mm. The first thing is that. Can I want this like yeah. patent or not? Means uh, I am just confusing in this. Yeah, like first thing that uh, method of use. If you try to have a method of use patent, these patents are not allowed in India. Mm -hmm. So in this case, you can try to have a composition patent, like uh, whereby you you can say that you have two components A and B. When these two mm -hmm. are combined, mm -hmm. the effect is more than the individual properties of A and B. Mm -hmm. the additive effect or synergistic effect. So you have to prove mm -hmm. that that effect is there. Then you can go ahead for this application. Mm -hmm. So like uh, the forward, yeah, please. I hope I have answered your question. Yes, 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 sir. But but already studies uh, have done. So I am just reluctant about it that somebody have already done the studies. Mm -hmm. Can I go ahead with the patent for that or not? Because it is already known. The protein is already known. Of course, it is known, but you have added new components to it, and that has resulted in new effect or new properties, na? So means that can means I, I'm going in a right direction that I can go for a patent if I'm combining two molecules and I'm getting you know extra benefit or I'm getting benefit yeah, for yeah, but, treatment but for but another that, disease, yeah, which is not to prove more. it to the patent office that by combining A and B, you're not getting simply additive effect of A and B. It is more than the additive effect. So that makes it an invention. So it was not obvious key when you are adding A and B, it will result a more effect than the individual effects of A and B. Okay. So you can go ahead. Thank I think you. So. so thank so you. Like, yeah. The forward moving arrow I was telling, referring, saying it is in the, this X, FedEx. Mm -hmm. The next IPR type is copyright. Sorry. Yeah. The copyright, like it provides two types of uh, benefits. First is economic right, and the other is moral right. So economic rights, as the name indicates, it provides financial reward to the owner, whereby he can ask people to pay royalties if they're using his work without his permission. And the other is moral rights, whereby the owner can prevent any kind of changes to the work without uh, like permission. Many times you have seen that uh, movies are made without consent of the um, publisher of the uh, like, movies are based on books and they're made without even uh, permission. They change the facts. So in this case, moral rights come into play. In most of the countries, copyright protection is like it is obtained automatically 
but if you file for copyright protection it helps to sort out cases if there are any disputes over ownership and it also helps in financial transactions like sales assignment transfer of rights this is one interesting case in the field of copyright uh, which was among university of oxford and rameshwari photocopy services in delhi university now this is a very prevalent practice in the university of delhi whereby photocopy shops copy material from textbook and they sell it to students at a discounted rate when chancellors masters and scholars of university of oxford they came to know of this practice they filed a suit in delhi high court against the photocopy shop and the delhi university but what happened in this case the uh, this uh, university of oxford it had to withdraw the case because the photocopy shop rameshwari photocopy services was operating under license of delhi university and delhi university had taken license from the university of oxford the next case is hawkins versus magic book appliances we all know that hawkins is a very popular bookware brand in the indian country and it's very famous for its special cookers so what happened magic book appliances was using was using the logo and the booklet that uh, instruction manual of hawkins so when hawkins came to know of this infringement it filed a suit and it uh, the court ordered magic book appliances to stop the sales and also to stop using the instruction booklet and other literature they were using then last ip right is geographical indications as the name indicates this ip right is granted which tells us about the source of origin of the product and the values of the properties that product is having because of that origin so gi right it enables the right owner to use the indication to prevent its use by third party whose product does not conform to the standards darjeeling tea was the first thing to get gi tag in india and till date more than 5000 items have got gi tag these are some of the gi tags in around the world for example tequila from mexico champagne from france i show some of the gi tags in india like madhubani painting from bihar mysore silk darjeeling tea kola puri chappal now there is a very famous case in the case of geographical indication whereby tea board of india was fighting against itc tea board of india had a geographical indication gi tag for its darjeeling tea itc was using the word darjeeling lounge lounge on one of its premises so when tea board of india came to know of this practice it sued itc alleging that it, it, it is infringing its right and the things which are being sold in the lounge are being claimed to be of darjeeling so the court observed that in case of tea board of india the gi tag was was for darjeeling tea but the itc company was using the word darjeeling for its lounge for its premises so goods and premises are different things and they allowed ET, uh, itc to keep on using the word darjeeling lounge now after studying all this uh, like uh, ip rights the certain things i like about the career prospect prospects which i would like to share like uh, first of all a person can work as a patent or trademark agent by qualifying the patent agent or trademark agent exam and then work with the indian patent office it is also possible to work as an in house ip counsel like the way i am working for kusum healthcare after completing law in ip it is also possible to work as a patent or trademark attorney now since the so many trademark cases coming it is very beneficial to work as a trademark attorney also then one can also work as a patent prosecutor whereby you can work with a law firm and do file patent applications and then get it examined and granted 
there is also a possibility of working with ip paralegal where you sub provide support to the patent prosecution department and lastly it is but not the least it is also possible to work as patent analyst whereby examine a group of patents for the company or a concept and then present the report in the form of charts bar graph etc now a question to the students of the kolkata university of course you must have seen this symbol so can you tell me which type of ip that will be applicable in this case one two can we get a patent trademark copyright j tag what what is possible here patent or uh, like patent of course you can have a design patent more appropriate would be to have a trademark or copyright because it's a design of course patent can be granted but more uh, appropriate is like uh, copyright and trademark so it is a like the symbol for the yeah. university it's a trademark yeah like more appropriate is trademark yeah it's a trademark thank you thank you for your patient listening now it is open to question and answers yes hello uh, thank you so much sir for this a very informative session so dear participant if you want to uh, be a part of question answer session just raise your hand i will allow your mm -hmm. mic i will not allow all the participant mic so please raise your hand according to that i will allow your mic Yes, Prem. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Ah, uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Ah, uh, Vikas, sir. This is Prem Shankar Gupta. Hope you are remembering me. Yeah, yeah, I remember you. Ah, uh, good morning, sir. Sir, actually, I want to know whether in India it is possible to uh, uh, file a patent having the uh, uh, different formulation components. actually i am working on some formulation aspects that's why i am asking this question like uh, if you get a formulation which having the some different components uh, and uh, um, already already its market formulation is commercialized in india so like uh, i'm not getting into the the, the, com, the composition is already in the market is the composition is there in the market sir actually i have changed the composition and the use uh, see like this is a section on a section 3 in india and one of the subsection is section 3e whereby like uh, it doesn't allow composition claims to be granted just for the components of the composition okay, uh, so there should be something additive like uh, it should be mere admixture something new should come out of the composition which was not known Uh, because what what is happened that uh, the practice in the us companies they keep on uh, getting patents on the properties of the like first of all they will have a for example what is there first of all they will have a patent on aspirin then they yes. will have a patent on composition of aspirin then they will have a patent on method of preparing aspirin api then they will have patent on use of the aspirin in diseases so like yes. in this way companies keep on ever green in the patent and the sufferer is the consumer so to work for the benefit of indian consumer the indian government the indian patent act it doesn't allow such type of claims of course okay. if there is something new it is more than the mere admixture of the known component known properties of course you can file for a patent application okay okay okay, okay sir thank you very much sir for uh, clearing my doubts of course like Uh, uh if you want just to have a patent uh, uh, you can file it on the uh, process aspect the process of making the composition then that okay. section will not come into play 3d and 3e will not come into play then okay sir thank you very much sir welcome welcome prem any other
anyone other want to ask something related to patent related to design patent Uh, sir, how much cost it will like, you know, if uh, independently we are applying for the patent? Suppose independently if I want to go because there are people, there are many companies or even people made the business of, out of it. Maybe they are charging, you know, high amount. Suppose we are working in academics and people are asking 50,000, 80,000, 1 lakh, something yeah. like that. So can you guide in a better way that suppose independently if uh, I want to apply for my patent only, like with my team, then what should I do? I mean, directly go to the website or how to do it because yeah. sometimes we don't know that how to submit the fees where to should we have to go through the agents or what is the procedure the hiring an agent definitely helps but if cost is a constraint you can always do it on your own because if you file it through academic uh, that the government is giving that rebate i think almost 90 percent rebate is given if you file through academics to your university. This scheme known as SIPP scheme. The government has started a scheme, and then if you claim to be filing through uh, this university, you will get a discount up to 90% on most of the fees. Okay, so we spend have to go by no university. Independent, we cannot apply it. No, like suppose uh, as a person, as an inventor. You can apply on your own. There is no, no need for like, uh, so suppose I'm an inventor. I develop something in, uh, invention and I want to file it. I can do it on my own. I don't need to hire anybody else. But of course, okay, the work, yeah, please. It's possible, like, it's possible if uh, I can go through the website and check their condition, how to do it. Yeah, and yeah. I can also do it. Means we don't require like any agent, like if agent is asking, because they're like, asking a lot of money. Like sometimes they're asking, you know, you have to pay 18,000 in advance, 15,000. Or after that, if patent will be guaranteed, then you have to pay 40, 50, something like that. Yeah. Means yeah. You, the, the people government. are making, you know, every day they're sending the WhatsApp messages that, okay, we if you uh, want to use, if you want to apply for patent, guaranteed patent or uh, something, you know, only the apply. Means there are some category application, applied patent online and... Uh, you know, a lot of confusion is there. Yeah, there are categories, like if you're going through online mode or physical mode. Uh, if you're going through physical mode, like you're filing at the patent office only, going there and filing the application, you're charged extra because of paperwork. I think 10% more you're charged. If you're filing online through IP portal, you're, you're charged less. And further, in each of the categories, there's further subcategories, like if you're filing as a company, as a person, or as a uh, like academics or as a lead, uh, lead inventor. For, particularly for uh, academics, for university, the fees are substantially reduced. Uh, I think 90% rebate is there. And uh, you can do it on your own. <laughs> and like this, if somebody is promising you guaranteed, like, uh, guaranteed patent, there is nothing like there is no sure shot way of getting a patent. It's a like sort of exchange between the examiner and the inventor. The inventor has to convince the examiner that, of course, the invention is patentable. Vikas, sir, I have one query. Actually, uh, Australian government has opened some innovation patent previous year. And several institutes has filed, has taken the um, Australian patent. And the patent has been granted also, but the ministry is not considering this patent as a viable. I think um, what I can understand is this thing: uh, patent is not uh, like for a company or for an institute. A patent uh, is not valuable unless it is commercialized. Because if you are if you got a patent and keeping it to yourself, it's of no value unless you commercialize the invention. No, no, sir. They, they are not giving a weightage to the Australian patent uh, as compared to the Indian patent. Uh, what I feel the reason could be that uh, the Indian government is they are having more stringent rules as compared to US and Australia in terms of granting a patent, like method of use claims, and then um, the entire list of Section Three. 
but that section is there just to prevent frivolous patents from being granted like the uh, business schemes method these such a patents they are allowable in us but not allowable in india so this could be the reason okay so um, we should have one another session uh, for the technology transfer as well as how to file the patent how to file the copyright uh, and uh, ipr filing uh, sure, we will sir. conduct a session on that also because sure. several participants want to, to file their self also yeah i so, know that yes sir. i'm like uh, I'm quite interested. We'll try yes, to work yes. it together. Ashish, do you have yes, any yes, theory? Because if, yeah, because if people will understand that we academics can be in working in academy, and uh, suppose if third party would be there, suppose in because in academics, sir, what happens? Salary is not that much. Like people are getting 35, 40, or something. Some you know, she is paying very less. So what happened if, if we have something in our hands, we worked like, you know, eight or nine years, suppose in PhD and postdoc, because after a patent, we can have guaranteed only if we worked uh, like, you know, if something valuable is there, like if it will go up to, you know, marketed or something like that, it will be a patent. The other people are applying only just putting application for the patent, like application, application, one, two, three, four, and nothing is there. They are increasing the numbers. Uh, actually, in, actually, I don't know. Yes, actually, several, several institute has established the intellectual property rights sale at the university and college level, institute level. And they, mm -hmm. there are dedicated team who are supporting the student and faculty member to draft the patent, also to file the patent and university and college is not charging any filing fees, but you will be not an applicant, the university will be the applicant. So the rights will be assigned so, to... Sir, is there any any benefit of these kind of patents that people are filing? Yes, you, you will be the filing, inventor. Filing. You will be the inventor of the patent, mm -hmm. but uh, the applicant will be the university because university has uh, um, uh, some database uh, to show uh, to the ministry to uh, take the benefit uh, in the NIRF ranking as well as for the NIAC accreditation uh, as well as uh, several type of innovation ranking. So uh, it is only yes. for the ranking uh, they are doing means they don't have yes. nothing to do with the patent or valuable things to no, 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 the society. No, no, no. They Many will times. transfer your technology also. By mutual consent, the technology can be transferred to other company also. Am I right, sir? Yeah, so, like uh, since you, what have been, still, you can talk to your management to establish the IPR. Oh yeah, what happens since uh, you are working for the university and uh, in my case, I am working for the company, so I have assigned my. Uh, whatever I generate IP over there will be a uh, ownership will be of the company. In your case, ownership will be of the university. But you will be inventor, and of course, you can also ask for royalties in case the uh, like depending on the agreement between you and the university if the invention is commercialized. Okay, so and like then uh, somebody said that many universities are filing applications for sake of numbers at time it happens that uh, people file application just to create prior art for others because since that concept has been disclosed so nobody else can come up with that concept it is there in the public domain so those are known as defensive applications Any more questions? Okay. Any, any other okay. questions? Okay. Shagun sir, is there or not? Darla sir? Um, Shagun no, sir, sir. I think uh, I think sir is not aware. 
ಉಂಡ ಮೀಟಿ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೇಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ದರ್ಲಾ ಸರ್ ದ ಇವೆಂಟ್ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟರ್ ಟು ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೇಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಈ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಓ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಎಸ್ ವಿಕಾಸ್ ಸರ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಗ್ರಾಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ as a token of love from the galgoti university you know institute in council as well as school of health science thank you dr gaurav thank you for the like token of respect thank and, you, and yes. we are very thankful to have you as an eminent speaker at this moment yeah like uh, the and i would like to provide the vote of thanks okay uh, good morning everyone uh, gaurav sir may i add a bit sir yeah yes sir you are audible okay so today our full of gratitude as we bring the curtains down on this enriching workshop on behalf of department of medical laboratory technology i extend my sincere thanks to each one of you for making this event resounding success and first and foremost our deepest appreciation goes to our esteemed speaker dr vikas bharmi manager ipr kusum healthcare new delhi for sharing his invaluable knowledge and expertise with us your passion and commitment to intellectual property rights have a undoubtedly inspired us all of us present here today i special thanks to dr shabun agarwal dean school of allied health sciences and dr ashok kumar sir hod of mlt and dr gaurav kumar sir iic in charge galgotias university and all the faculty members and their support and they and their support support commitment and dedication to the overall success of this event i thanks to everyone again and jai hind thank, thank you, you sir thank you all the participants thank you thank you so much sir so dear participant uh, uh, i have posted the feedback form link in the chat box so just click on the link provide your feedback and uh, uh, we will also upload this recorded lecture on the youtube so please uh, you, you will find uh, one uh, link in the feedback form to subscribe the youtube channel of iisc you can subscribe to uh, to um, uh, be updated for this lecture recorded lecture uh, gaurav sir the session yes. will be end with national anthem can i share that uh, sir uh, i think uh, this should not sir because uh, all are the um, in the home and we have to uh, stand up oh. we cannot rely on the participant oh, okay sir if they are standing then it is okay actually we are uh, every event we are doing that that's what i ask okay sir Can I close it or can I share, sir? Gaurav, sir? 